What's up Titans, it's Curtis, and in today's video I wanted to give you an update on some of our most recent updates to our product research tool inside of Merch Titans. Uh, over the past several weeks we've been applying updates behind the scenes to really start to improve this product research tool and things are starting to take shape. So with this video I'm going to quickly cover some of the new features we've added and some of the old ones we removed but have brought back since in a more improved way. Uh, so with that being said, as you can see here, I'm on the product research tool. Again, this is inside Merch Titans. And I ran a search query here for 50th birthday gifts under the Merch by Amazon t-shirts category on the dot-com marketplace with, uh, and I'm sorting it by sales rank. Uh, so if I scroll down, you can see that I have returned 127 products. These are the top selling products under Merch by Amazon t-shirts for this keyword. Um, you can see how many total results are using that keyword for Merch by Amazon. The average BSR, the top estimated monthly sales from this search, which is 201 per month, which is this shirt, which you can see right here. Now if I scroll back up, you have all the other data points you would need, minimum price, maximum price, and the average price of all 127 of these products. And then the top keywords from search. So how this works is this um, goes through every one of these products including their titles, brands, description, and features and it'll show you the most used keyword from uh, all these products. So you can see birthday was used 523 times, gift 342 times, and so forth. So you can easily just copy these like this and then go over and paste them into Excel or into Notepad or Word and then take the ones you like. Now moving on, if I scroll down you can see we have a new layout so now we're stacking everything by threes and we made the images bigger so you can actually see what the design looks like without having to click on it and go out to Amazon. Um, we also added this feature, this filter here, show only images, which is really convenient. Let's say you're doing some uh, research and you're trying to get a good idea of the type of designs or the type of style that is selling well. You don't want all this data with it. So if you can just click this and now you have only the images, only the designs. So you can scroll through the search and start to get you know, a good idea of what types of shirts and what type of designs are actually selling well. So now with that being said, we're going to actually add quite a few more filters here, but that's the first of uh, many. Now let me scroll down and show you some of the newer features we just added. Uh, if, if you didn't know, most tools don't offer this, but we have the release date, meaning this is the date this uh, product was put on Amazon, January 6, 2020, and you can see this one's selling really well. The BSR is at 12,703 here. It's receiving an estimated uh, 201 sales per month, which is quite good. You can see we also have reviews. You can see the exact amount of reviews each of these shirts have. This one over here has 34. You can see the stars, and then, and so forth. But let's say if you want to see features, you can just click show features. You can do that on all these products. Um, description, these ones don't have any descriptions. Uh, this one does, you can see here. Anyway, that's all the important data points. now. What I wanted to show you was the best sellers rank and price history. We added this back, so if I click on this, you'll get a chart of the best selling, the best sellers rank, and it'll go back uh, quite far. In some cases, up to three years. So you can really gauge how well and how consistent a product has been selling for multiple years if the product has been up that long. All you have to do is hover over these dots. It'll show you the date and the BSR on that date. You see, there's multiple dots here. And these, you can see, most of these are on 121, 121, 121. So you can see there's multiple times per day that's being recorded. 122 here, multiple times there, 122, 123. You can see this BSR started high and has since dropped lower and lower and lower and it keeps going lower, which is a great sign. That's what you want with your products. So if you're doing research, you can tell that this particular t-shirt is selling well and it's selling consistently well, which is the key. And then of course you can see the price here with this chart. And if you wanted to hide the BSR, you can just click on here so you can only see the price. I can see they started at $14.99, moved it up to $15.99 on January 27th, and it's still at $15.99 and this is February 10th. So you can add the BSR back, you can hide the price if you want, only look at the BSR or have both. But that's how that works, I'm gonna exit that and we'll move along. So if you scroll down, I can go to any of these products here and check this history, which is really good. And it doesn't take long either. 
And we're also adding uh, more and more updates to this chart so it's easier to zoom in at particular points and analyze the data and zoom out quickly. So you can see on this shirt, all the way back to April 2018, you can see the BSR here almost over 1 million. And then this thing just dropped, has a lot of spikes. I mean, you know, it's selling well and then going up, it's selling well. But if you can see the consistency here, it's actually selling fairly well. And it has been for a very long time, over two years. That's crazy. Anyway, that's how that works. And all these shirts, or almost every shirt, especially if they've been on the market for long enough, we're going to have the data on. And it's really powerful to be able to see that historical bestseller rank data, and especially over the course of multiple years. But that's how uh, <clears throat> the search works. That's some of our new updates. Again, we have more filters and more improvements coming. Now let me move over to a KDP search result. I put the same thing in here, except this time the query was 50th birthday journals. And I'm on the KDP all category. You see you can search only journals, notebooks, planners, or trackers. We're going to add more. But if you wanted to search any type of KDP book, just go to KDP all and input your search query. So you can see with this result, I got 125 of the best sellers returned. So you can come down here and see the actual um, books here. Again, if you want to only see the books, you can change it to only images and then scroll through those quickly and see what's selling. Now I'm going to go back and change that. And uh, everything works the same as our t-shirt our um, category here, but it's for KDP and create space books. So on this list, you're actually going to get not just KDP books, but actually create space as well. So we're searching both categories and returning the top sellers for you. So let's go down to one of these books. We'll go here and check the bestseller rank history. As you can see here, all you got all this data. You see this book has sold quite well. We'll jump up and I think the highest point is right here. 731,000, 736,000 here. And that was December 28th, which makes sense. I've noticed with birthday related products, they do not tend to sell extremely well during December because that's more Christmas items. A lot of people buying gifts for Christmas. So that would explain why that goes up. Let's check a few more of these. You see here, 198 all the way up to 833, 807,000, all the way down to 92,000. Now let's go to the best selling, uh, best seller from this entire list, which this book right here has done really well from the day I started KDP. It is has been selling extremely well. You can see the seller ranks 81, estimated at 3,339 sales per month. And again, this data isn't 100% accurate; it's just an estimate. However, I actually went through an article the other day of the people that put this book out, and I believe they said they were receiving two or 3,000 sales a day on this book, which is crazy. So if you look at the uh, bestseller rank here, you'll see the consistency with this, and it goes back multiple years. It's just, it's just a yellow line down here because there's so much data on it. Uh, let me scroll down a little bit. You can see September 22nd. Let's go check this out. So this is from... 2017 so there's almost three plus years there's over three years of data here or almost three years of data and you can see all the different pricing changes they've done and then down here you have the bestseller rank it's literally been below 2000 since it took off and it just get, it's just been going down and down and down look here it's staying right here around 100 which is crazy so this one book is absolutely killing it it has been for almost three years so you can see that that data is really important it gives you a good idea of how well a book is selling and how consistently it's selling so when you're doing your product research you can go into that feature right there on any product that's returned in our searches and check out the historical bestseller rank and of course the historical pricing but I think that's about it for this update we have a lot of really cool features still in the works that will be released to the tool I just kind of wanted to show you that we added that historical data back and it's more improved, more data, and it loads a lot quicker. And then of course, all the other features that we've been adding. Again, you have multiple categories you can search here, Merch My Amazon t-shirts, hoodies and sweatshirts, pop sockets, uh, and then you have all these KDP categories. And if there's anything that we're missing that you guys would like to see added, for instance, more filters down here and the type of filters, let us know. Um, we're only gonna continue to improve this tool 
and to make it the best product research tool on the market. So we would love to hear your feedback, your ideas, and any suggestions you have. But with that being said, uh, that, that's it for this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one.